Yeah, it's me again, and in today's video, I need to explain what indexes are in MySQL. An index is a type of data structure. They are used to find values within a specific column more quickly. It's technically a B tree data structure if you're familiar with what that is, but if you don't, don't worry about it. MySQL normally performs searches sequentially through a column. If I'm looking for some specific value, just scan each value on the way down to see if those values match depending on what I'm looking for. It doesn't really take much time if you have a small data set like I do, but imagine if you have millions of transactions. Searching each transaction one by one is going to take a long time. We can speed up that process by using an index. By applying an index to a column, selecting or searching takes less time. However, updating takes a lot more time. So there's some pros and cons with using an index. It really depends on the table. If I'm working with a table of transactions, transactions are being updated all the time. People are constantly making purchases. I don't think our transactions table would be a good candidate for an index. We'll be doing a lot of updating, but not a lot of searching. However, with our customers table, I think our customers table could benefit. We don't update our customers table very often. Only a new customer comes in every once in a while. Let's reduce the time it takes to search for a customer. With creating an index, how exactly do we want to find the customer? Believe it or not, we do have an index with our customer ID already. A customer may give you their last name and or first name. Let's create an index for these. We'll start with last name though. To show the current indexes of a table, you would type show indexes from the name of the table. Here are the current indexes for our customers table. We do have one already, and that's for our customer ID. That is the primary key. We can search for a customer by their customer ID fairly quickly, but not so much by their last name or their first name. Let's apply an index to those columns. To create an index, you would type create index, then a name. I will apply an index to our last name column. I will name this index last name idx, meaning index, on the table, customers in this case, then list a column. I will apply an index to our last name. We will be doing a lot of searching by a customer's last name, so I might as well apply an index. So let's execute the statement. Let's show our indexes again. Show indexes from customers. And here is our new index, last name index. It's applied to our column last name. If I were to search for a customer by last name, that process will be sped up now. Select all from customers where last name is equal to puff. So my data set is already very small to begin with. There's not going to be a noticeable difference in this example, but if I'm working with a million customers, using an index would be a lot faster. If I were to search by first name instead, where first name equals Poppy, uh, I spelt Poppy wrong. <laughs> well, we don't have an index applied to our first name. As of now, it would be slower to search for a customer by their first name compared to their last name. That first name doesn't have an index. Realistically, we wouldn't search for a customer just by their first name. We would do a last name or a last name and a first name. That's where multi-column indexes come in. To create a multi-column index, you would type create index, a unique name, let's say last name, first name, idx, on our table customers, then list the columns in order. The order is very important. MySQL has what's known as a leftmost prefix with indexes. So we will search by last name, then first name. Let's execute the statement, show our indexes, show indexes from customers. Here's our last name, first name index. There's a sequence. We're telling MySQL to search by a last name. However, if there's also a first name, include that too. There needs to be a last name to utilize this index. If I want to, I can get rid of this last name index because our last name first name index would do the same thing. We can search for a last name as well as a first name if we would like. To drop an index, you would type alter table 
the name of the table, drop index, the name of the index, last name index. Then I'm gonna go ahead and show indexes from customers. And the last name index is gone. Now, if I was to search for a customer, select all from customers, where, if I were to search for a last name, we would benefit by using this multi-column index. If I looked for a last name and a first name, we would also benefit. There's a sequence. We would search through any last names first because that's first in the sequence. But if I was to search for just a first name, we would not utilize this index. Well, everybody, that's an index. It's a type of data structure that is used to find values more quickly within a specific column. MySQL normally searches through a column sequentially. The longer the column, the more expensive the operation is gonna be. If you were to apply an index to a column, searching and selecting a value takes less time, but updating that table takes longer. Use it if you think a table is a good candidate where you don't update it very often. And well, yeah, those are indexes in MySQL.